Why the long face? You said you wanted to destroy that thing. Mission accomplished. Gods exist. If Aurora ever found that out. Well, that's your problem. Actually, it's not. Which is why I'm so depressed. It's not just I don't want it, I need your help. That's better than killing me, I think. Care to elaborate? Truth is, as powerful as being the tribrid makes me, I've been waltzing into traps, being blindsided ever since I shut off my humanity. I care so little about, well, everything that I have been reckless. So, while I shudder at the thought, I need a partner in crime to take Aurora down. More like a canary in the coal mine. Going after gods and bitchy vampires? Hard pass. Your sire bonded to me. You can't pass. Hope? Just imagine how annoying heretic me will be. See how heightened my desperation is right now? That's gonna get old real quick. Not to mention, all my friends are gonna come looking for me the second they find out what happened. Not if you do what I tell you. Which you have to. Pakuji. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, he's a good little Pakuji. A woodland sprite from Native American law. They can be quite peaceful and playful. Why not be holding to a cup? Did you see how he teleports? I think we may have finally found out what Ethan's monster side is. Uh, speaking of, does this mean that him and Caleb can come back to the school? It does. Though I thought you and Ethan were no longer friends. I was quick to judgment today. Good thing you and Jed weren't. You're a good leader, Cleo. The kind I've always wanted to be. That makes sense, because at every turn I asked myself, what would the MG I know and respect do? Seriously? Yeah, I find leader to Milton, no matter what Hope said. Thanks. I am a little on tilt with Lizzie being gone. Now with the monster problem handled, I can finally go find her. I was gone for like five minutes. And that is the ugliest emotional support animal I have ever seen. Let's see, where have you been? Hog first. Talk later. You should probably sit down while well, it's happened on my end. You think he bought it? If there's one thing I've always been able to do, it's manipulate Milton Grizzly, even in astral projection form. As far as he's concerned, I am going to spend some time with my mom to get accustomed to being a vampire, and you are too dangerous to be around. At least that last part is true. But I hate that you made me lie to him. Get over it. This could be the beginning of a beautiful, mutually beneficial relationship. Hope for the last time, I don't want to do this. I haven't even gotten my head around being immortal, much less being immortal and on a suicide mission. So mutually beneficial my ass, there is nothing in this for me. Sure there is. Because once Aurora is dead, I'll make you promise not to kill me and I will send you on your way. You'll be free, ish. Do you really expect me to believe that? I could make you. It's easier. Don't bother. Codependency is my crutch. And if I have to help you kill anyone, Aurora's pretty high up on my list. Great. You drive while I nap. 